We need to have a brilliant relationship. You must give your children independence after they are married. The only time you interfere is when they are going against the commands of Allah. If they are not reading salah or dressing inappropriately or swearing and so on, then you can interfere. It is your duty. But whether or not they attend a function with you is up to them. Whether or not they live with you is up to them. And you should happily allow them to live separately because that is a right that they have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. My experience is those who live further away from their parents are happier with their parents than those who live within the same house. That is experience. We have seen it and witnessed it across the globe. You cannot have two kings in one kingdom, nor can you have two queens in the same kingdom. So if your wife is a queen, your mother is also a queen. And if both want to rule, they are going to cross paths at some stage. It is not going to work. One woman per kitchen. Let us try and use that rule and understand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really grant us understanding. And yes, if there are people who love each other and they are living with the live and let live policy, then Alhamdulillah, we will encourage that as well. In the rare case where mother-in-law is getting on with daughter-in-law, then Alhamdulillah, that is nurun ala nur. That is light upon light. It is goodness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us.